let's discuss streamline flow now we will study the fluids in motion which is known as fluid dynamics when a water minus tap is turned on slowly the water flow is smooth initially but loses its smoothness when the speed of the outflow is increased the flow of the fluid is said to be steady if at any given point the velocity of each passing fluid particle remains constant in time this does not mean that the velocity at different points in space is same the velocity of a particular particle may change as it moves from one point to another that is at some other point the particle may have a different velocity but every other particle which passes the second point behaves exactly the previous particle that has just passed that point the path taken by fluid particle under a steady flow is a streamline it is defined as a curve whose tangent at any point is the direction of the fluid velocity at that point now let us consider planes perpendicular to the direction of fluid flow at three points p r and q the plane pieces are so chosen that their boundaries be determined by the same set of streamlines this means that number of fluid particles crossing the surface as indicated at p r and q is the same if area of cross minus section at these points are ap ar and aq and speed of fluids particles are vp vr and vq then mass of fluid amp crossing at ap in a small interval of time at is rho pa pv pat similarly mass of fluid amr flowing or crossing at ar in a small interval of time at is rho ra rv rat and mass of fluid amq is rho qa qv qat crossing at aq the mass of liquid flowing out equals the mass flowing in holds in all cases therefore rho pa pv pat equals to rho ra rv rat equals to rho qa qv qat for flow of incompressible fluids rho p equals to rho r equals to rho q equation reduces to ap vp equals to ar vr equals to aq vq this equation is called the equation of continuity in general av equals to constant thus at narrower portions velocity increases and its vice versa from it is clear that ar greater than aq or vr less than vq the fluid is accelerated while passing from r to q when the flow id distributed the flow loses its steadiness and becomes turbulent so when a fast flowing stream encounters rocks small foamy whirlpool minus like regions called white water rapids are formed first figure describes a laminar flow where the velocities at different points in the fluid may have different magnitudes but the directions are parallel and the second one gives a sketch of turbulent flow